All right, guys, we are back. Um, ready to jump right into it. Today's video, we are looking to uh, hopefully fly a broom on a trial, maybe. Do some super secret stuff. What up, girl? Maybe talk to her. See what she's about. You know. But no, we have... This is the collection of people over here. I'm gonna get side dis uh, distracted right away. Just because I see people sitting here. Is there something going on? Are these Quidditch folk? I would have cast Glacius. On what? On their brooms. Make mm. them hard to hold on to. We shall hold you to that when Black oh. brings it back. If Black brings it back. Such young minds. On your so I innocent. To cast it at Black. We should plan something. Some sort of trick mm. to punish Black. Okay, Paul. Not a uniform. Pots? Can't destroy those bots. Okay. Onward and upward, Seymour. We'll do some missions. Hopefully, I get to fly, fly a broom. Hopefully, it unlocks so I can fly it regularly. I feel like I said that word regularly. Uh, very weird. Either way, on a regular cadence, let's just say that, okay? I think hey, what are you eating? Brother is a professional Quidditch player. Wish I could meet him. Oh, if you lean forward on your broom oh. just right, <laughs> you can get an incredible burst of oh. speed. Oh, yeah, you like that, girl? Oh, hmm? oh what's, what's going on with you? I'm not even touching you. Oh, you just you just feel the magnitude of my presence, don't you? That's that's just wrong. That's get get your mind get your minds out of that gutter, okay? That that's obviously a glitch. Hey! Black hadn't cancelled it. Wouldn't be looking for the blasted thing in the first place. Where are you? Rebellious. Um. And three. Someone's got places to be. Much better. Yeah. Orale, check it out, huh? Look at me. Look at me. Lighten up the sky. Give me... Give me a campfire to start. Just use my broom. Okay, let me, let me remember how, how to do this. Toggle. Shift. Space is up. Control is down. Okay. I feel like control is a little awkward for then B is dismount. I don't know why I feel like I can't get my hand positioned that way to whatever. Fuck it. Let's just go with it. Hey you, Ravenclaw. Yeah, me. Melda Rays? Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why mm. is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Obviously, of you showing off in flying he likes my attitude a little better than you. Yeah, you sound jealous. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you? Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. <laughs> but for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I mm. am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Mm. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. 
Yeah, I'm gonna get up in the air and you're gonna be see more and more butt to see more butt. If that made any sense. Fuck it, let's go. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Man, she's talking a lot of crap. Ah, what happened? Did it. Shoom. Shoom, shoom. 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 Oh shit. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Obviously I'm supposed to be getting those things. Crap. Come on, Seymour. No! What are you doing? Let's stay ahead of her. Stay ahead of her. Get these things. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm thinking a lot about flying this room, man. Excellent. It's a little awkward. And I think I'm think oh my gosh thinking too much about this uh control button. I, I wish it would just go in the direction that I'm pointing, you know? Rather than having to Um use the keyboard to control it. Cause then you can just worry about up and down with your keyboard. And I can just point in the direction I wanna go. Maybe that's what makes this a little awkward. Fuck, wrong button. more don't mess around maybe he messes around but he's he's just good enough to be good I'm not making a whole lot of sense yeah what do you got to say uh, huh whooped you you must have cheated you oh fine you won don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Mm -hmm. Surely my win means something. Mm -hmm. uh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Mm hmm. Uh, don't really need your respect. I don't want respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What a sore loser. And... I'm just going to look because um yeah I feel like that was really kind of weird fly up fly down yeah on the control here that's a boost charge there I feel like maybe um if I go middle mouse lie down and right click or fly up 
Right? Because that shouldn't affect any of my spells while I'm on the broom anyways, right? That way, my left hand, I can just worry about controlling. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be right. glad to hear how I fared. I'm going to do this. Fly up, fly down. There we go. Not have to worry about this whole space bar stuff. And I can turn down, up, down, up while turning, not having to think about this stuff. That's much better. <gasps> oh my gosh, and I almost wrecked. Okay. And speed up, unspeed, speed up, speed, boost. Yeah. And actually you can, you can kind of control it by just looking, can't you? It's just, it's more of a turn when you push the button. So, yeah, see, so if I turn my mouse, like, way to the right and stuff, it does look that way. So maybe I'm just being stupid. All right. Um, whatever. Okay, so where am I going here? Return to Albi. And I'm outside now, so I should be able to fly this around, right? So if I head back to... Yeah. There we go. Highlighted. Go up, up. Up. Uh, this is a test. How how high can I go? Oh my gosh! I don't care who you are. If you're not strapped in, you're falling off this thing. Okay, that's maximum height, which is basically the height of this of Hogwarts. Look at that view, though, man. Hmm. 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 Uh, hold on one second while we, uh, we, uh, we gotta position ourselves this way, not that way, this way, here, and there. Oh, yep, swat that bug. Pause there. And maybe pause there. Uh-huh. Very nice. Very nice. While I'm here, look at that waterfall over there. We might as well fly around the castle real quick, because why not? You know? There may be some uh, hidden secrets in towers that I wasn't able to reach before. Like, for example, this one here. That I can't go in there. <gasps> So I have to access that from the castle? That's definitely a class though, right? Uh, okay, so the yellow is the burst. And then it's the health mode. Okay. Nice. Nice. Oh. Imagine be able to... Uh, just chill up here and watch the uh, the sunset over the mountains. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, we can explore the castle more later. Let's head on out to Hogsmeade. This is definitely the way to travel. There's also that. Waterfall, though, too, though. Maybe we'll look at that when we come back. So many things to do. Speed. Shoot, coming in hot, guys. Coming in hot. Uh, 
no fly zones? I seriously miss the entrance here? I did. All right. All right. No worries. We got it. We got it now. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. You're, oh, you're back. We've something to report, I hope. Yes. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was yeah. the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm. That's precisely what I needed to know. When you dip, I dip. We dip. drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Mm-hmm. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? Oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways. Worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smevik had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. Hmm. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Sounds good. Hmm. How to address the issue wanna, of altitude as it relates to speed. Want a dual exhaust system on that thing? I want NOS. I want this thing basically barely street legal when I take or air legal when I take it out, you know? I want to be riding by on that thing and you could you just know it's fast. All right, now what? These are all back at Hogwarts. I'm just going to run outside and I'm going to see if I can find a spider or something to use this thunder brew against. That way I can also do uh, learn Defendo when I get back to the uh, the castle. Boom! Sounds like a plan, right? Run, 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 run. Rebellion. Run, 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 run. Hogsmeade, here I come. No, Hogsmeade, here I leave. I don't remember if I... Moonstone! Like that. Moonstones didn't stand a chance. Not a chance against Seymour. Hello, ladies. Hello, butterfly. Hello, flower. Hello, light. Hello, sitting sun. And big bear claw of a thing there. What is that? Oh, it's the uh, puff skins. Ha -ta! I don't know what they do. Mm. I'll light y'all on fire, though. Can you? Can I do nothing? Nothing with you? No, 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 no. no. What do I do with you? Hmm. 
Um, I don't think there's any enemies right here on this uh, trail. Maybe I should have went the other way. On uh, away from Hogsmeade instead of this way. Unless you think, well, I guess there. If I go to the uh, the Forbidden Forest area, right? There's all kinds of spiders there. Remember, I got my ass kicked by a bunch of them. Oh, there's some red. What is that? Ooh. Oh, I can move this. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it, but... Blue. Let me know, oh, I broke it. Okay. Imagine I gotta get within range of this thing, right? And go like this. And go like this. Drink, drink, drink. Did you see that? Shocked his ass with that uh, brew. Let's replay that. <laughs> Instant replay. There's all kinds of spiders over here, though. What is going on here? Hmm. Well, you know what? Wait. Are they alive? Is that a person? I was going to leave you alone, but... If that's a person, I, I need to save his ass, right? Yeah. How dare you eat people? Ow! Fucking babies. Fuck you. Now fuck the babies. Fuck all the babies. Ow. Boom. Them babies are annoying as shit. Like, can I save this guy? Clearly. Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh my gosh. You let Nora fight well, but they go to you. You're about to wish you hadn't. Nice. What? <gasps> oh, is this a, this is an evil dude? Crap, did I just save somebody I shouldn't have saved? Hmm. Protego. Wrong button. Incendio. Dang it, I should have let that dude die, huh? But, I mean, I was right, right? Like, you see somebody struggling like that, you can't just leave them behind like that. 
Okay, I'm in the Forbidden Forest now, so... Um, I saved that guy, even though maybe I shouldn't have. Oh well. You know what? I'm a good guy. Seymour's a good guy. So, we're going to save some peeps if we can. Um, Where am I going? How do I get it? I got it turned around. Oh, there, there we go. Oh! Oh, good thing that wasn't like a big waterfall or something. Like a moonstones. I hope they these are like super valuable because probably not because they're all over the place. Can I enter the the castle from in a different direction here? Yeah, look, there's a there's a path down here. <laughs> ah, looks looks so good, man. Can't get over it. That moon, moonlight, the windows, the fireflies. Ah, oh, it's just so good. Okay. Uh, Hogwarts grounds. Apparently, I can enter this way. Okay, the whole reason was to fight some enemy, enemies, which I did. So before we get to these two, let's just finish this off and get Defendo. Um, so where do we need to go from here? Basically straight through the castle. Can I floof to a nearby? Oh, potions. I'm not sure if anybody else was playing, but uh, if you ran across that same dude, did you save him? Did you catch what he said? Maybe I can rewatch this and see what he said, but I'm pretty sure that was a bad guy. That was like one of the guys that attacked the um, uh, Indiana Jones lady that I first met um, when talking about Merlin and the Merlin trials, right? Uh, I think it was one of those guys out there, so probably messed up. I don't know if that's going to come back and haunt me in the future, but we'll see. And before I go back in there, I'm going to go down here because last time I got distracted by the class. Wanted to see if there was anything immediately worthwhile in here. Nope, just a locked door. Okay. Waste of time. Oh, oh. Hey, hey, don't pay. Ta. Have you finished your assignments? I have. I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Yes, I was. Matter of fact, I defeated many, many a spider. I saved a life. So, yeah. Yeah, it went well. Yes, sir, of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you... I want to make sure you're well prepared. Talent mm. and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Thank Indeed. you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. Mm-hmm. Focus. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm gonna mess this up. Oh, shit. See? Oh, almost messed it up. Hmm. 
Very good. It seems you have a grasp on Defindo. I would encourage you once again to practice here in the car. I will. Uh, Defindo slashes. Okay, so it's another attacking one. So maybe we move the utilities down here. You can replicate them. That's kind of cool too. But we'll put uh, Defendo here. So we'll match up purple with purple, yellow and yellow, I think, as we get these other ones. What, are the, what is this? Ooh. Freeze enemies. Oh, that's sick. Turn them into different objects. That's cool. Um, okay. Anyways. So since I don't have another one, a yellow one, I'll just replicate this one. And if I'm honest, I'm not going to be disarming anybody. So maybe I'll put this one here and I'll replicate it up there. That way I've got one with a pull, one with a push. Basically, uh, doesn't matter which one I'm on, I'll be pretty good. Your sake and that of everyone else. Defendo. It's a pleasure Ooh. to have a student who actually heeds instruction. Ooh. Incendio. It has a long cooldown though. Really long cooldown. Defendo. As I mentioned earlier, Defendo can be versatile oh, but dangerous. That's super it's cool. Continuing to practice. It's like it's like Ninja Slicer, only with a wand, you know? You know that arcade game? Ninja, Ninja Slice. Ah. I'm going to slice some pizzas. You know, chop up the potatoes that way. Throw it into my pot. Make me some potato stew. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. You know, slowly keep exploring some of this, uh, the rest of the castle. It's just so big, there's so much to see. Over here. Yeah, I'm right, I'm right here. I was sitting. Sorry. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. I mean, we this thought way. the same about uh, crossed wands, but... There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. They knew all about that, too, so I'd imagine they know something's going on here, right? <gasps> it is in here! I called it. You remember, like, I don't know, which one was it? Video 2 or 3? I said this is highly suspicious back here. I knew it. Knew it. Called it. I'm gonna have to find the proof. We'll replay that where I said that. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. 
We used Ominous. to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. Revelio. So I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He yeah. never confides in anyone. Yeah, no doubt, dude. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. No worries. You the homeboy. I got you. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna snitch or tell the secrets. Well, it looks like they're uncovering some cool stuff here. Look at those chalkboards, right? That's gotta be just them. This looks odd as well, right? I've seen video games like this feels like it's an entrance to something else. It's got the placemat here. It's got a place for a door. Well, that, that's not where I came in. I came in from over here, right? Yeah. I feel like that's something too, right? And that one's obviously not because it's got a chest in front of it and it's got writing on it anyways let's see what he's got to say talk to me i think i've seen ominous in potions or was it herbology i've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle he does no idea how though ominous was born blind and no spell could reverse it his wand seems almost sentient not surprising i suppose olivander always says the wand chooses the wizard is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family, a direct descendant of Salazar Slytherin, wow. one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Mm -hmm. Like what? Like the blasting curse. Yeah, legal activity. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My mm -hmm. thoughts exactly. Mm -hmm. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Cool. Let's do it. It may it. take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Okay. Space, left, left, space. Okay, got it. Here, left, space, space, F. Zoro! That's what we did. Zoro, the mask of Zoro. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the undercut. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what is it? Fringo. A long range bolt. Okay. So like I said, I'm, I'm probably not going to disarm anybody, if I'm honest. So I'll throw it there. Because this is the Ring of Fire. But then this is long range and can chop. Right? And from that long range, I can pull. And then this is push. So if I push him away, I can still hit him with this. Yeah. At least it makes sense in my head. 
Have a go at those candelabras. Both Here. have their Wait, uses. What did I do? Chop. And oh, so I'll have two choppers. Choppity chop. Hmm. It's got a really long cooldown though. I think maybe I'll just replicate the fire across and I'll have those these two different. you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendia. Wait. I not aiming at this? Oh, I'm using the wrong <laughs> the wrong ones. Good Fringo. There we go. Nice work. Jeez. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. Uh, it's uh fantastic. Cause then I can light my fires That's and my it. candles and my lanterns without even having to leave the couch. So I'm talking about like all these candles all around. I'd be like, nope. Ah. That's pretty cool. Then there, there. Okay, cool. Oh, one more. Couldn't bring up. Well done. I have to say. I enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's almost like your little own Kamehameha. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry no. about your sister. If there's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Felcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian. Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. <laughs> well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. Mm -hmm. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. I mean, I feel like I can tell him, right? Um, tell me these these secrets. That's got to mean something, right? He's entrusted his secrets to me, so maybe I can entrust uh, my secrets to him. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you the truth. Why not? You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secrets undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting to say, but it wasn't that. Which is why is my hair is blue. Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... I, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. Mm. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, 
I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curse is in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Hmm. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. That kind of sounded like a little uh, Draco Malfoy action right there, right? Trying to get something out of me, but secretly is going to go behind my back and tell like his uh, rich father or somebody that has connections to these wharves, right? He seemed a little too interested about that uh, ancient magic, right? I know he's practicing different skills or different uh, spells here that aren't taught here at um, the school, but I sense a little dark Jedi in him. Maybe because he's a Slyther Slytherin, but uh, right? Some dark Jedi action right there, right? A little too interested in that dark or alternative magic. Anyways, pots. Yes. Yes. Pots. More pots. Incredibly st stable pots that don't fall. I like this. It, uh, it definitely has a... A quick cooldown, so bam. You can hit him with this, this, and boom. Like alternate between them. That's cool. I know you said to keep this place in order, but fuck it. Destroying things is so much fun. Mm. Arr, really get your anger out. Yes. Imagine the fireworks I can make with this. All oh, the fireworks. Okay. Now that I just uh, destroyed y'all's eardrums, like, with, ha! Okay, we can move on. Onward and upward. No, what are we doing? Not map. Okay. Oh. I have to leave first before I can track something new. Okay, I'm leaving. Oh. Rebellion. Make sure. A little rebellion. Okay, good, good. Old. Ooh. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Hmm. Do I be, uh, just be honest, or? Right? If him and Sebastian are good, then... I mean, there's no point lying about this. Like, he caught me fair and square. So he can just... He can take it up with Sebastian. I didn't ask to be showed. Actually, Sebastian brought me there. But he made it perfectly clear to keep quiet about it. That rat! You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the Headmaster, and I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Hmm. Yeah, seriously, no need for threats. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. Why should I trust you? just betrayed Sebastian. Please. I was trying to defend him. He was clear that this was a secret place and I was to tell no one. He's a good friend. Yeah. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. So he's back Sebastian off, dude. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Yeah, go take it up with him. Why are you bitching to me about it? Cease. He's your friend, then yeah, go talk to him about it. 
Get on with yourself. Damn. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's try this one. Let's do more some more secret stuff, apparently. Be up, up, be up. Somebody stares. Revelio. I heard a team. What is that? Oh. It's gotta be up there, right? Oh, that's in. Uh... Yeah, it's definitely in there. Okay. stairs going up more oh hey peeves sheesh Revelio. all right all right professor weasley from prying eyes. Ooh. Don't know why the textures aren't loading in there. Look at that. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? Off to you, Professor. Hmm. Is this where things go get uh, go to get lost? What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But mm. you managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where Apparently, I required some organization. Professor. The house elf I was speaking to shit all over the place. Your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you found it. Seriously, all the magic in the world, and we can't organize this place. No you know. Chance I'm clambering over this mess. Yeah, exactly. See what I'm saying? This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Okay. Ooh, that's a snakey snake motion is what this is. Hata. 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 Snakey snake. There we go. It's the snake charmer. Splendid. Cobra charmer. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Uh, okay. One momento. Let me uh, assign it. Where'd it go? Oh, this one here. Vanishes items and returns moonstone when cast when the room when cast within the room of requirement. Some more moonstones. What's this one? All three. 
Conjuration. What's the last utility one here? Ooh. That looks cool. Well, for now, we'll put this here. Okay. Do a four on that guy. Excellent work. Bam. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Oh, please do, Let's because I mean, collecting the shit out of that. Wish I could just in do that. Hatsa. Clean my bedroom. Hatsa. Clean my house. Hatsa. You know, the garage, the yard, all that stuff. It's a Hatsa. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. Oh my gosh, I can't run. I can't believe it's still here. Revelio. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Deke. Deke, Deke. Who is this? Hey, I waited for you here. I waited for you here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of parchment than you'd expected. Let me know if you want to meet again. Sincerely, T. Hmm. Interesting. Revelio. Kinds of stuff. Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Hey, shut your face. Some of us are trying to explore. And clean, apparently, since nobody cleans around here. Revelio. Hmm. Oh. Oh. It's like I can potentially slide that out and what is this? Ah! Like if stuff did that in my house or in random people's house, that would scare the crap out of me. Um what am I doing? Akio. Yep, get over here. Did I go too far? I think maybe I have to jump on this thing. God dang it. Eh. No. Eh. Come on back this way. This way. This. Okay. Alright, now we're gonna. Shit. There we go. Push. And push. And push. And jump. And jump. There we go. Spider-Man my way up there. All for an unidentified object. That's all? Revelio. The heck, am I missing something? Oh, there we go. Out of the way, chairs. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Revelio! No, not that. That's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. <laughs> <laughs> All these chairs. Nope, uh, flush the toilet and a bit offended. The room thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. I wouldn't want to take a bath anywhere in this castle because look at the All these tubs and toilets are disgusting. Like gross. All the magic in the world, and again, we can't have some non-rusted and dirty-ass shit. Come on. Revelio. This is cool. Am I 
missing things that are like above me that I should be able to get. And I just haven't been noticing them. Like that. Can I grab that? Eh. Cool. Oh my gosh, it's so magical. Revelio. Right. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? I know, right? Play me a song. Revelio. What was that? Snitch. Was that a golden snitch? What is a snitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> the hell was that? Who's talking? I hope that house elf can find us in there. Accio. Yeah, get in here. Another blows. Rebellion. Oh, apparently I'm close to something. Can no longer run. And it looks like there's a floof in here. Careful. Ah, Deke. Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed. Yes, this is Seymour. Deke is honored to meet you. Seymour is honored to meet you. Second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident. If ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room mm. will do the rest. Mountain views. Running river. Lots of food. Some nasi goreng. Some ramen. Mmm. Some percadels. Wow. Some sushi. Big old TV for my video games. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Look at that cheeky smile. He's all excited about it. <laughs> I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah. And it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. 
Ooh. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. Oh, so nice. understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Indeed. All right. Yes, I will identify gear since I have several of them. Hand cloak, mask, Quidditch gloves. All right. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Cool. So we got one of them was ident unidentified and like a better. Wait, what do I have? 42? 43? Yeah, 43 extraordinary increased damage with Crucio. Cruxio. Crucio. I don't know. However you say that. Let's equip that. Bam. Hmm. Okay. Um, spectacles. I'm at 37, 37, 47. Ambush. Increase spell damage while concealed by disillusionment. Ooh, what I like, check it out, huh? Yeah. Looking pretty badass. I might just put a hood back on so I can be like a Sith Lord. <laughs> Look at this. All right. Uh, wait, what am I wearing? 38? 45? Oh. Nice, nice. Oh. Anti-venom, decreased damage taken from spiders. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Dang. I guess we'll have to wait on that. What level am I? I'm so close. Okay. Oh, so these have... A trait to them. So they're highlighted. Okay. I'm going to change appearance. I am going to wear me. I feel like I should be in a church wearing that. Uh, no. I want... I want a Sith Lord... Jedi-ish low robe. Jacket. Jacket. That kind of goes with a mask, though. Could be something. Hmm. Uh, it's worth a plain one here, real quick. And then we go like this. And then we go hood on. Ooh. Go appearance. We can't be wearing this. There we go. And we'll change this. We need something something dark. Nothing at all. I just go in my pajamas. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm pretending like like I'm a kid running around the house in my pajamas pretending that I'm a Jedi or a, a, a wizard running around jumping off the, the couches and the, the, cu the cushions and and, you know, making mom mad because I'm making all kinds of noise. <laughs> 
Yes. Ah, man, maybe... That doesn't look as good as I was hoping it would do. look. That one's closed, though. Hmm. Maybe we go with the jacket instead. That matched. Yeah. That one. Let's go this one. Then I'll wear the uh, the red vest in there. Goes my gloves. So I'll go with a red theme here. Yeah. traits to these though. Can you not do that? Whatever. Okay. Go this. Um Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Hmm I'm I'm going to avoid that right now going down a rabbit hole and I feel like this uh, video has been quite long enough guys so I am oh I am so going to organize and decorate this room but I'm going to end the video here um god this game is just there's so much to do like so many areas to explore I feel like I can be stuck on this game for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and not get bored and just continually find things um like i feel like redecorating this whole place and changing things is just gonna be a video in itself so before i get to whatever he's gonna show me um i'm gonna end the video here guys we got our new look we learned some new spells we got a broom we flew around it's been quite a day or well multiple days in the in the game here um if you guys are liking this, let me know. Leave a comment, uh, drop a like, subscribe. Uh, let me know that you guys are feeling this video, that uh, you want to see more, uh, and support the channel. I appreciate you guys for for taking a look and and the time to watch this. I'm digging this game. I want to do more, and I'll leave you here. So wherever you're at in the world, have a good day, have a good night. I'll catch you in the next video, guys. See ya.